Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and we are going to Alaska. It's cold in Alaska, probably. Why wouldn't it be cold? It seems like Alaska would be a cold place. Well, we're not really going to Alaska anyways. We're going to Alaskan Paradise, which is a map for BeamNG Drive, so I can't tell you if it actually feels cold. Wait, let me touch my monitor. Hmm, I just recently turned my monitor on. It feels pretty cold. Yep, Alaska's cold. Yeah, that's totally unscientific, isn't it? So for this one, let's go ahead and use the off-road edition of the truck, because there are some serious hills around here, and then there's off-roading as well. We'll pick, um... And this is always the hardest decision of every day of my life, is what color do I want? And then I remember, what about the Pepto-Bismol truck? He's making his return! Stopping all the upset stomach and diarrhea and all that. He is back. Pepto-Bismol truck. So that's good news, I guess. I don't know. Um, but anyways, Pepto-Bismol truck is here, and we are going to drive around some of these roads. So there's like one major um, paved road, and then there's a bunch of littler off-road roads as well. And, um, yeah. I almost got a job in Alaska once. Well, I, I shouldn't say almost got a job. I applied for a job in Alaska once and heard nothing back about it. You know, it's too bad. I was to work on the Alaskan pipeline. I'm like, yeah, I could do that, man. I, I could do that. No problem. Then, nope, didn't hear anything back from it. And so I still don't get the job I want still. Getting a job I actually want is hard. Hard, hard stuff. That's why I do crappy jobs. Because I gotta get paid somehow. Anyways, enough about that. It would have been fun to work on the Alaskan Pipeline, I think. It's just like, ooh, look at the pipe. It's not bursting. It's not flooding. It's perfect. Yay. I don't know actually what you would have done for sure for that. I mean, as far as I know, they don't actually, like, refine anything. So I was just like, look at the pipes. They're not blowing up. Yay. But I don't know. Anyways, did you see how steep that was? Look how steep this is. Oh, my God. Let's go for 100 miles per hour. 100 miles per hour. Come on. 100. 100. No. Oh, goodness. That's not 100 miles per hour, and that's a destroyed truck. Look at the tire on that side. It's like doesn't even look like it's so misaligned, man. Oh, jeez. I ruined my truck. All because I wanted to go 100 miles per hour. I'm like, I want to go 100. Nope. Crash. Dead. Learned my lesson, I guess. Oh, goodness. We're flipping again. Oh. We're okay. That's, that's, that's fine. No, it's not. The car can't move on its own anymore. That is totally not fine. You notice there is a little bit of a a lip on some of these bridges where if you go in too fast on them you'll kind of damage your car up so just be aware of that I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad or a good thing I'm just saying don't go too fast in the bridge because you might bottom out if you're driving something like the bull light or you know any sport car really you'll probably bottom out there and then you'll be sad because you ruined your everything on your car because you were going 100 miles per hour I want to go 100 miles per hour let's try that again come on full Pepto-Bismol speed here we go no way I don't have, I don't, there's no way, it's too steep. This hill is way too steep going up it to go 100 miles per hour. But the thing about hills, once you go up it, you gotta go down it. So here we go, 100 miles per hour. Oh god, that's a big turn, never mind. Wait for it. Oh, we could barely even do that turn without dying. So no 100 miles per hour, I changed my mind. And that's a lap of the area, I believe. Yep, that's one lap, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a lap. I'm 82% sure it's a lap. I'm 30% sure. Is it a lap? Yes, it is. This is a lap. That was a lap. I thought I saw the same road I started on. So there we go. That's a lap of the place. We'll just uh, hop on any dirt road we see. And I see one right there, so let's hop onto that. Okay, here we are on the dirt road. That's why I got the truck, man. I knew this was coming. You know, I was going to try jumping off the bridge onto this if I didn't see that other way to get on it. Okay, does the water work? Yes, unfortunately it does work and we are stuck. Alright, let's go over here where it's kind of open up and just respawn the car and continue on. This time, let's not fall in the water. We'll actually be a little careful instead of just driving fast and not caring. We're going to drive slow and care and, you know, everybody to be happy because nobody dies. Well, I mean, I don't think you would have really died from that. You had time to get out of the car, I would think. Come on, carefully, carefully, looking good. This is like right on a cliff, you know? So if you make one mistake, bye bye! Oh, we made a mistake, we made a mistake, bye bye! Bye bye! Yep, that's gone. Uh, and I was being careful too, that just means I'm a bad driver. Like, I don't even have an excuse, that just means I'm a bad driver. Maybe I should have got something thinner. Maybe I should have used the coat, maybe I should use the pigeon. Because the pigeon's thin enough where I won't have to worry about falling off so bad, maybe. I don't know. And just get a real tiny car. Let's try that, actually. Let's try that for real. I don't know if it'll be able to make it up the hills and stuff, but I just want to try it now that I said that. 
And it also gets Pepto-Bismol power. If we can kind of get that same color, there we go. That's pretty close to Pepto-Bismol power. Yes. All right, Pigeon, here we go. You are now my off-roading machine because this road is too, like, it's not wide enough for that truck for me. For a good driver, it's perfect. Oh my God, Pigeon, what are you doing? Why are you flipping on me? Calm down. Calm down, Pigeon. Just because you don't have a, su a front suspension made to really go over much more than a road bump doesn't mean you get the right to flip over. Do you see how badly this thing's just bouncing all over the place? Yeah, yeah. Whose stupid idea was this? Hold on, Pigeon. Oh, perfect. We just gotta be really, really careful. And okay, I'm not even testing the accelerator, I'm just like letting the car bounce and going left, right, left, right, don't fall over, don't die. And then there's a hill. Pigeon's like, oh, hill, hill too big. I need the quail, because quails can at least run on the ground. Pigeons aren't known for that. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. Oh, it's gonna go down. Who am I kidding? Let's use a uh, Covet. Yes, Covet. Well, actually, do I have any mod cars that might work here? Use the stock cars enough? Yes, let's use the Audi Quattros. Even has its own fancy sound and everything. If we can get it out of there, there we go, we're good. This car matches the environment to some extent. Now, I don't know if this would really be a rally track, it's kind of steep for that, for a rally track, I think. Oh, and now we go to the road. The second I find a, par a proper car for this, we if we find the road, of course we do. Not all of them go to the road, though. Here's a different one, I think, right up here. Oh, God. Whoa. A little bit of lag right there. That was unusual. Tight turn. Good to go. See, this is not a rally track. You don't have a rally track where the, the driver will fall in the water and die, usually. Oh, like that. No, 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 no. Okay. We're okay. We made it. Oh, come on. Come on, automatic transmission. Don't fail me here. Oh, we made it. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's all good. Look at that. Oh, this Quattro's good, man. We got that good off-roading Quattro. We're safe. It keeps us safe. Well, with me behind the wheel, though, I don't know if that's necessarily true. I'm all over the place here. Oh, I know why I'm all over the place. Actually, there's a real reason for that. I forgot to change the tires or wheels. Because there's, ah, uh, there's uh, tarmac tires and there's gravel tires. If we put the gravel ones on, it'll be a lot better. Oops, that was tarmac. Gravel. And I said tires, it's wheels, I know. That will make things a lot better for handling. Oh, that is... I can actually feel it just from that churn. Like, the churning radius is just better because it has traction. And it makes up the hill. I don't even know if it would have made that hill otherwise. And I'm afraid to go fast here because I don't know what's around this hill. I don't know if there's a big churn coming up or what because I don't remember this area. Okay, let's go fast. We're going to crash probably. Who cares? Yeah, we crashed. Well, we didn't crash. We just fell off the road. Come on, come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Get up on that road. This was a good car for this. Although it's encouraging me to go faster than I should and just falling off the track. Ah, it's still good for this. It's working good. Not good, not good, not good! Dang. It's dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's drowning. Drowning? That's not a word, is it? You can see, though, this thing goes all the way around that mountain. Which means I'll just keep falling in the water every few minutes, you know? A few seconds, actually, I should say. If we try to continue that. So maybe we shouldn't do that road. You see, it's a nicely detailed road. Like, the whole map is nicely detailed, you know? It's got lots of trees everywhere and stuff. Lots of details to it. And a lot of the roads are real steep. Like, look at that one. Look at that. That's, uh... That's steep. Here, let's go ahead and try that. From Pick it up from here so we don't fall in the water every few seconds. Instead, we'll just say, hey, look. Pretend we drove that road really fast-like, and I'm a good driver or something. I was using full rally power and going 80 miles per hour the whole way, and... Oh, God. What is the transmission doing? It's like, neutral. Drive. Neutral. So here's the thing I was looking at that I said, oh goodness, that's steep right there. Look at that. You gotta have some momentum going through it. We're okay. No, we're not. We needed to keep that momentum for the second half. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's try that again, man. We can get up this hill. Uh, I was thinking about using manual here, but maybe not. This one's manual isn't exactly the nicest to use. 
I will go ahead and use automatic. Hopefully automatic will be okay. Because for this one, the gearing is just a little too low to try to do something like this in manual for my preference. Alright, so here we go. We're just going to hold the gas and hope we can stay on the road. Oh my goodness, this is steep. I can't do it. Not even in my quattro. That's a beast of a rally car in real life, you know? Alright, we'll try it one last time. I think that's just really steep, that's all. We get the automatic transmission, trying to get some traction on it. And I'm going slow right here, I gotta make sure I'm lined up. Come on, come on. Come on, no way, not even if you were driving good you can make that hill. Like I was, I felt like I was doing pretty good, but I'm still a way far distance away. And that is using the right tire, or wheels, right? Gravel, gravel. Wonder if snow would make it any better. Just out of curiosity. Would snow work any better here? Let's find out. Let's see, where does F7 place us? That's good. That's where we were before. Alright, so just out of curiosity, we're going to try the snow tires to see if they're any better. I honestly have no idea how the tires are designed, like in this game. Like, if it'll actually just give it more traction maybe or not. I don't, I don't know. So we'll see. Ah, we hit the tree. That's bah. That's garbage. Come on, Quattro, Quattro! And power after we get over that hill. Oh, we might be able to make it with the snow tires. Alright, we just gotta... It's really hard to... Once you're like... It's so steep, really, that you don't have much control over turning left and right. It's just, you gotta be lined up. And if you're lined up okay from the start, you'll be fine. But if you're not, you're done for. Alright, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. No, it's still too steep. That is crazy steep. Like I, and I was, like I said, that's trying the snow tires, which I think might have given me a slightly better chance, but I'm not really sure, so... That's the last try I'm gonna do with that. It'll get boring if we try it too many times. I just wanted to try it. It just, it, it just looks steep, man, and it is. We don't even have traction right now to turn. I think maybe the gravel ones might be a bit better. It's like they, they have their trade-offs. It seems like you can really use any one in this, either one in this situation, and it'll be okay. It just depends what you want. All right, let's go this way instead. This one has a steep area too. Just power, power through it, power through it, and we're home. No, we're not. We're gonna fall off of. Oh, we're home. We're safe. Let's park the car. Park it before we break it. We're home, and now we're not because we bounced right out. Let's go ahead and put the gravel tires back on real quick. Whoops. Oh, Audi, stop it, stay. I'm thinking gravel's best here. I mean, I think it might be a little bit better. It's just hard to say. Alright, so obviously we're not going to be able to go up that hill. That is a hill. Look at that thing. It's just, woo. Oh, I heard the Audi crash. We could go down it if we had a car that was on top already. We don't. How about instead we try dri driving up the mountain? And then we could get a nice view of the whole map from there. How you doing, Audi? You are the designated car for this. I believe in you. Even though your gearing is a little less than ideal for this situation, you can do it. The gearing in this car is just one of the few, the one, one of the only things that kind of feels w off about it. That's really it. I like this car a lot, though. It's just this first gear is just like, it's kind of like, oh, it bogs itself down sometimes. Come on. No can do. All right, let me get another car in here then. I know another car that probably worked better. Hold on. Okay, so here we go. We got a tree. No, our car is a Lancer Evolution rally car. This is the gravel tires on it. I'm thinking this car will be a little bit better than the Quattro just because its gearing is a little more suited for this. Now, we're going to cut every cor this corner really hard right here. That's part of the plan. And... I think we need a manual transmission, actually, maybe. This automatic doesn't look like it knows what it's doing exactly. Why are you going into fourth gear? You were going to make it up! Alright, so we're using a manual transmission here because the automatic is uh, really bad at deciding when to upshift. It's like, let me just upshift in the fourth gear right here, and you fell off the cliff thanks to me. No problem, bro. I could do that any time. No, we don't need to do that. Just stay in first gear, and look how good it'll work. Watch. Look at that, just doing first gear, don't upshift, and it works great. 
It did, didn't it? I mean, look, that worked great. As far as I'm concerned, it was great, at least. Careful, we don't want to fall off. Alright, so we are going to make it to the top of this mountain now, because I think this car is working good for me. Got another steep section, though. We don't want to fall off again. This is a little wider than some of the other sections, thankfully, so I can try to put some power down, but I don't need to. I mean, I can't because I had I lost all my momentum by crashing into the wall anyways, but it's okay. We're making it up the hill. That's all that matters. Very slowly, but we are making it up. I guess we didn't need this car. I mean, that first part was the only... Okay, no, never mind. This car's, This looks kind of steep here. This car might be able to make use of this. Yes, it makes it fine. Thank you, Land Evo. Here, the top of the mountain. There's that one tree just growing here. Like that tree is the winner. It gets the most photo, uh, most photosynthesis points out of all the trees here. And we don't have enough traction to actually hit that tree. Actually, I'm trying to go hit it, but I just like, oh, nope. There we go. There we go. Park next to that tree. No, don't roll away. Your parking brake is on. What are you doing? You see that car's trying to roll away even though the parking brake was on. Look. What if I put it in neutral? Okay. Don't put the parking brake in first gear. It'll roll away. Parking brake, but parking brake in neutral works fine though. Not funny. All right. So there you go. That is Alaskan something. I forgot already. Oh my god. Paradise? I don't remember now. I honestly do not remember. Oh, that's terrible. Anyways. Let's, uh, let's get a cool thumbnail right here, like, you know, something like that. Yeah, that's a cool thumbnail. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Anyways, till next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.